what we're going to do is click onto site tab on the left hand side. Now this, as you can see, is empty because we haven't set up a site yet. What we're going to do next is download the Be Smart app from your Google Play or from your App Store if you've got a, an iOS or an Android. Once the Be Smart app is downloaded, we go into it and the menu, the front page will have a driver button and a manager button. What we're going to do on the home screen is click onto the manager button. That will then start searching for a dispenser our shows up as the demo B Smart. What we're going to do is click onto the B Smart dispenser, and then that will start connecting with the B Smart itself. As you can see, it's now lit up, and the blue uh, Bluetooth button is now lit. Okay, so it's connected. What we're going to do is enter our PIN number, and this is preset as one two three four five six. So popping that in. Okay, now we're going to enter our site credentials. Enter the site code, which is again given to you at the, the time of purchasing your BSmart product, and the email address that you have set up on the Fusey portal. Ours is set up for our purchasing staff, so that's Sarah at Center Tank. Okay, confirming that. Site code detected. What we're going to do is press next. And it's now updating the B Smart with all the information that you've set up on the portal. So it can take a few minutes. On the app now, it is now showing our manager's menu. We don't need to do anything with the app now. We're going to go back to the portal. So step three, going back to the portal, what we're going to do is click on the site button. Once we clicked on the site, that should now show the B Smart as set up, we're going to click into that. Okay, so what we're going to do is start setting it up. So we're going to click on the first tab, which is general. Okay, general will show your device name. We can set this up as whatever you want to save your device as. So whether it's the the, the site name, the uh, the dispenser that it is, if it's showing um, dispensing red diesel, for example, or white diesel. What we're going to set it up as is the video demo. Then we have the location. This uh, can be the yard that you've had set up or the city that your 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 uh, dispenser is in, whatever it may be. Third is going to be your manager's pin code. This was set preset as one, two, three, four, five, six. For the demo purpose, we'll keep it as the same, but this can be changed to whatever you, you want to save, uh, change it to. Bearing in mind, you always uh, need access to this code and it's a good Good idea to give this to the site manager or the supervisor in case that they need to log into the portal or uh, have any overrides. Then we're going to have the date format and the time format. And then we're going to have a tick box for using registration numbers. We're going to tick that and we're going to have a tick box for using a dormitory readings and we're going to tick that. That is just so when the driver fuels up, they can select the registration number and select the odometer reading, uh, odometer readings at each uh, fuel dispense. Uh, then what we'll have is the visual uh, visualization flag. So this is choosing what the dispenser shows when it's not in use. It can be time only, it can be uh, the last quantity used, or it can alternate between both. For the demo, we'll use the alternation. Remember to press the save button. Then we're going to go into the second tab, which is pumps. This will default as pump A. You can change this to whatever you want the pump to be. So if you've got multiple pumps uh, and you've purchased the multiple pump, this will be shown as pump A and pump B. We can use this to split as a red diesel and the second pump as white diesel or red diesel and add blue, for example. For our demo purpose, we'll use red diesel. Then we're going to have the status. This will be enabled. You can disable it if you want to. So if the site is shut down for holidays or it's a weekend and the site isn't in use, we can disable it so nobody, no, nobody will be able to access the pump. But we'll have this set as enabled. Then we will have the total amount dispensed. This is a non-resettable total and it shows you how much has gone through, how much fuel has gone through the actual B-Smart. Then we'll have the measurement unit. For our demo, we're going to set this as litres. We'll have the decimal numbers and this we will set to two decimal places. 
then we have the pulse your pulse meter. So we can choose the type of meter or we can list the pulse ratio if it's not a pulse your pulse meter. If purchasing the B-Smart Cube MC or the B-Smart Self Service, this will be already preset to a K603. Then we have the nozzle input. This uh, is whether the dispenser, use, uh, dispenser sorry, uses a nozzle boot switch. Then we have the type. So if uh, the above is yes, then you'll select either normally open or normally closed. Then we'll have the start timeout and stop timeout. This is the auto cutoff if no dispense is made within the seconds chosen. And finally, we have the level alarm. Uh, input one and two. This is where you can use a CTS alarm or CTS probes and it's directly connected which can give you a warning and then an auto cutoff as well. This will prevent the pump from running dry. Again remember to press the save button. Then moving on to the third tab which is drivers. So this is where you can choose and authorize the driver slash drivers uh, to use the pump. So for example if we have somebody uh, who is not working, we can disable them. Uh, if they are back in the next day, we can enable them so they can start using the B-Smart again. If they are disabled, they will have no access to the B-Smart and they cannot connect. 